was under a lot of pressure, let's say. And, uh, and then I started experimenting with this medium and really fell in love with it because it was like uh, a perfect language. <laughs> because there was pain involved, you know. Um, there, was, there was pain involved, there was pain in my life at the time, and there was a pain in the process. There was a little pain involved, and then something issued forth. And then I could use that substance to create something beautiful. Working with your own tissue, essentially, there's just nothing like it. There's something there that's happening that is not present in other pigments. My name is Vincent Castiglia. I'm a New York-based artist, uh, painter and tattoo artist, uh, working in unusual media. I, I work exclusively in human blood. You know, I have been making art my whole life. Um, I'm not sure if it was more of a wanting to be an artist than rather than feeling the compulsion to keep creating. And it was it was more that um, I was drawing as soon as I could hold a pencil or whatever. And you know, it really started as. Uh, the way, the best way to disconnect from my environment at the time. Um, growing up was not fun. Um, and, uh, you know, drawing was a way to go somewhere else. And it's something I did daily. It's something I did multiple times a day. And then it was just something I couldn't get away from. Um, so it started as a distraction, but became a whole lot more, obviously. Yeah, I'm using just brushes, you know, uh, regular uh, watercolor and acrylic, uh, you know, brushes. Um, I'm using the blood collection supplies that I had mentioned, vacutainer tubes and butterfly needles. Um, I work from about five different consistencies of blood in airtight containers, uh, varying from a little, mostly water and a little blood, all the way to the concentrated blood that's been allowed to sit at room temperature or just while I'm painting anyway, it's, it's kind of becoming more opaque and pasty, and that's how I get the darker tones. By the time a piece is finished, um, because I work from light to dark, you know, I'll do, I'll build, I just keep building it up, dozens and dozens and dozens of passes over the whole surface of the painting. The last thing I do is the dark, opaque pass, and that is, uh, just the straight blood. Blood is a peculiar substance. Um, as 
as perishable and transient as we think of it, uh, first of all, it does hold up on these surfaces. Um, iron oxide is actually what is in the blood. It's, the, it's what is the red hue, uh, and that allows me to use it as pigment. So um, it's actually just the most personal pigment you could possibly ever use. I would call the work um, figurative surrealism uh, because there are human figures in surrealistic compositions. Um, I would call the work existential because it embodies various stations of human experience. Um, everything from love, to loss, to lust, to death, birth, um, really every emotional position I, I think that we find ourselves in over the course of a life is delineated through the work. A person, place, or thing, or um, something that's important to me enough to inspire a painting. If you have insight, you use your inner eye, your inner ear to pierce to the heart of things and have no need of intellectual knowledge and young comments. This is obviously an allusion to the absolute knowledge of the unconscious or the presence in the microcosm of macrocosmic events. Is meditated on for a month or three or however long it takes to paint the piece. And um, at the end of that period, through posing questions in the work, I receive the answer and, and direction that I'm, I'm really looking for. I can't imagine a more personal, transformative process um, by which your innermost thoughts and feelings can literally become a piece of physical artwork or, or a point of contact between you and the ethereal. You know, what's going on in the mind? Like, where's the mind? It's not in the brain. Where's consciousness? Where does consciousness reside? And this is, this is a little piece of that consciousness reflected onto a surface, essentially permanently, not a fleeting thought that disappears in the ether. Yeah.